the right heart, with the right mind, with the right praise.
church that sit on the hill. Our occasion today is to celebrate the nature
friends who go out into the community um, to spread help, love, prowls, and funds, and whatever the case may be. So on today, enjoy yourself. Clap your hands. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. We got urchers here. If you need anything, they're nice, and they would do anything to help you out, get you what you need, and, you know, make you feel welcome. Amen. So us here as a family, we welcome you once, we welcome you twice, and we welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ. prayer for you. A prayer for you. I said a prayer for you today, and I know God must have heard it. I felt the answers in my heart, even though he spoke no word. I didn't ask for wealth or fame. I knew you wouldn't mind. I asked him to send treasures of from afar more lasting and kind. I ask that he be near you at the start of each day to grant you health and blessings and friends to share your way. I ask for happiness for you in all things great and small, but it was for his lasting care I pray most of all. And at this time, could everyone join me in a silence moment of prayer for our nations that have passed on? Star and all our visitors. Again, Reverend Fallon, Brother Brandon, Dr. Blackburn, all our visitors, members, and friends. It's been a pleasure to serve as the president of this great nation's department. Since I have a little poem that I like to read. People wonder how you keep smiling when things are falling apart. They wonder how you can forgive 
or someone has broken your heart. People wonder how you can give when you're down to your last dime. They wonder how you manage when you give so much of your time. People wonder how you resist when temptation is all around. They wonder how you keep standing when problems weigh you down. People wonder how you survive when you're fighting against all the odds. They wonder what's the secret ingredient when it's because you're a woman of God. I thank God for each one of my makers through it. Ms. Abrams, thank you for accepting the invitation to be in here today. I know that sometimes they do a lot around here. They do a lot when you don't even see what they're doing. We joke a lot about claiming the church on our taxes because we do so much. But they're here. They're dedicated. They work with the children. And if you ever need them, they're there in time of need. We don't, they don't just do at church. They do outside of church. They attend, uh, each, we attend each other's children's sports or uh, anything the children ask us to do. If we have to go to the hospital, we go. If it's something in the community, we go. And it's not because we're not busy. It's not because we have don't have full schedules, but we make time to do what is available and what is necessary. When it's something here at the church, we don't do it for a name or fashion. We do it because we see it needs to be done. And I thank God for all these women. I know sometimes they try to pick the brain. But I told him my brain is almost like my pastor's brain when he springs stuff on us at the last minute. But I told him, but when we're led by the spirit, we have to do as we're led. I want to thank everyone that helps make this great matron department. I want to thank all the ones that have taught us, all our progressive matrons that have taught us. I know sometimes we don't do it your way, but we get it done. So we don't do it your way, but just know we show up and we show out. And thank you for the teaching, for teaching us. Because we could just be up here lost, but you all have taught us. And we want to do whatever we can do to make each and every one of you proud in Morningstar Baptist Church. I have some gifts. We do have three new members that wanted to join. And we're glad. Sometimes people come and go, and God still adds. So we want to thank God for Miss Abigail. And Miss Rowena. Thank God for accepting the call and wanting to come and want to start and work and serve. You can't go wrong when you're serving for God. And thank you for all that you do. I have flowers. I want to thank Miss Cynthia Thomas for always being on hand and ready. So thank her. Sometimes our way might be a little different, but you go with the flow. I want to thank you so much. And another person I would like to give flowers to. Sometimes what comes up comes out, but we like to thank God for Sister Emma Richardson. For always willing and able to do whatever for the children to be available. We want to thank her. So when they say give you your flowers, we want to give you your give you both flowers and thank you for willing and being able to serve. And also we want to recognize our um, major mission president, Sister Lockett. Okay. Now we would dare. Not honor Sister Maxine Abrams. Ms. Abrams, we want to let you know. The big gift is yours. We let you know how much we love you. How much we love you. How much we appreciate you. And all of you women just don't know what it is for us to be little girls to see you all working in the church. And we're growing up. And we're here. And we're doing what we're supposed to do because we've seen you all working in the church. And that means a lot to see you all. And then for us to be standing here because we got some big shoes to feel around here. Miss Cook Everett.
So we, we thank God for, for you women and for us to be able to be here to celebrate and honor you all on this day. And thank you all for everything you've done. And we would just like to let you know, this is a special day for us. And you all mean so much. And we love you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. All right, it's message time. Before our morning hymn, our beloved sister, she used to teach her. Amen. <laughs> she said more than grown folk. <laughs> Amen. Our beloved uh, lady of the church, Sister Spencer. Amen. Before our morning hymn, she will come to present our messenger. Amen. For the morning. Do what? Oh, give your money to Ruby Jean. Amen. Amen. Fifty dollars. Give, give it to her. Amen. God bless you. Pastor Powell. Sister Spencer. to be a beautiful Christian lady. All right. She is the sixth of seven children. I don't know whether God will get along with this one. But anyway, uh, seven is the, is the uh, sixth of seven children who grew up and attended school in the Hope area. <clears throat> As a child, she enjoyed uh, singing and playing the piano in Morning Star Missionary Baptist Church for Reverend John Herbert Spencer, Senior Pastor. Thirsty for and realizing how important education was, she graduated from Bolton High School and went on to graduate with a bachelor degree from Stillman College and a master's degree from the University of Alabama yeah. in elementary education, and that explains why she loves children. Yeah. She felt her calling was to be a teacher, so she taught in the Hale County and Tuscaloosa County school system. For I believe 35 years, she can correct that if she chooses. <laughs> God had much work for her to do. So he started her in her local church, which is Morningstar, as a minister of music, Sunday school teacher, and president of the Missionary Society. The Lord then said, I have much more work for you to do. He then started to, um, after her retirement, to follow, she, she then started to follow her mother. Sister Ethel, late Sister Ethel Daniel, in attending the conventions and congresses. Congresses. She showed she showed much dedication and commitment, and was observed by several convention and congress presidents. At the state level, she started as a recording secretary for the Women of Literary of the Alabama Baptist State Convention. She, um, from becoming the vice president of that auxiliary, um, she became the president of the mission of the woman's auxiliary for the Alabama Baptist Convention. She also served in several other capacities in various uh, in the conventions and Congress. She was once once quoted as saying. I have no plan to stop all the things I'm doing now. I love and trust the Lord and believe that it is through him 
that uh, through his love and unmerited favor that I am able to do all of these things I enjoy. Quote, unquote. After that, she went on to be the fourth <coughs> vice president to vice president <coughs> at large for the National Baptist Convention Woman of Delaware, where she is currently serving. Currently, she is the director of Project Bethel, that's B, period, E, period, P, period, H, period, E, period, L, period, oh. meeting, <coughs> bringing education to help expel learners at Bethel Baptist Church. Oh. In addition to all of the accomplishments, she is a child. Oh God. Yeah. Love people and always looking out for and helping others. I could go on, but this is an introduction and not a obituary. <laughs> so I do not want the introduction to be longer than the speech. Amen. The little girl who lives in, in the little house on the hill. Uh, grew up to be a wife to, to widowhood, a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. Oh, Her name is Sister Maxine Daniel Abel, a lifelong friend of mine.
to God.
some of the members from out of town <laughs> needed to go to a certain store. <laughs> and, uh, Come on, daughter. I took them. sitting outside, everything was all right. Mm -hmm. But if we went inside and cars were passing, my mama would say, don't open that curtain. Yes. Come on out here and let the folks see your job and not me. <laughs> we had many places. Kay has driven me many places to make speeches, etc. I thank you, Kay, yeah. for the in, for the and for your friendship. Oh, I do recognize the presence of local, district, mm -hmm. district state, yep. and state workers. Mm -hmm. Will you please raise your hand, Sister Lily Benny. Yeah. That's the person <laughs> who, after the terror, was my driver, Lily yeah. took over. Yeah. I thank God for the chair. I thank God for Lily. I thank God for everybody that drove me anyway. <laughs> I do. Sister Patty Frank, yeah. will you please stand? Amen. Sister Patty Frank is a North West mate from Tampa. She is the peace. Baptist president. Yeah. She is one of the 
tribes. Mm -hmm. Seed and rebellion. All across the country. Anything. Mm -hmm. I thank you, mm -hmm. Sister French, for mm -hmm. taking time to come. I know she's been in Florida somewhere, but she's here this morning. Yeah. I thank you for your patience. Mm -hmm. All of you. Everybody Amen. in here. You are special. Yes. But I thank God yeah. for them. Yeah. Stay there. Amen. And Joe and Jordan. These are my children. Those are my children. Thank you for being here. Stand up. My other son, I didn't birth him, but I've had a hard time with him. Stand up, baby. Vincent Neal. He is my son. Brianna Stanley. Madison Pointer, yeah. and she drove here yeah. to be with me. Yeah. Matt, yeah. stand please. Yeah. Stand, Matt. Yeah. He got some on his ears. Stand, yeah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> That's Matt. That's Matt. Matt, say, Grandma. What are you doing? I said, writing a speech. Can I write one too? <laughs> I said, yes. Sir. And I gave him a piece of paper. He wrote his speech and he wanted to know, you got a stapler? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a stapler. I said, I don't think I knew anything about a stapler. <laughs> and of course, four years old. Thank you, Brianna. Thank you, man. Thank you, God, for family. Thank you, Father. 
I thank you for your grace. I thank you for your mercy. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my hope. In Jesus' name, I pray. I've got one other thing I need to do. On last Sunday, for me, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, there was a sweet, yes. sweet spirit yes. in this place. Yes. So I got somebody else who will bring yes. in this place. Yes. It took me back, y'all. Yes. Our Sunday school subject was an important role. Deacon Lewis made us define the word. First Peter 2, 1 through 10. The key verse, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Deacon Lewis, our teacher led the discussion and with others adding what the Lord had revealed to them. I encourage you, Deacon Lewis, I encourage you, Sunday school students. Wouldn't it be nice if all of us in here today came to Sunday school next Sunday? Brought your children and your grandchildren the next week They'll be on break, y'all. There's so much out there. Now, bring them next Sunday, Sunday school. Let's have high attendance day. It starts at 10. Rev said he's going to be here. All right. Everybody, all of you, whether you're a member or not, bring your children to Sunday school. We need to put some God in them, y'all. And that will take the guns out of their hands. Sister Ram, your interpretation of the lyrics of Because He Lives and is your all and all sank deeply into our heart. We encourage you, Sister Ram. And for the new members, if you don't know Sister Randall, she's my sister. We were truly blessed by the boldness of these young people. Stand up, young people who were on the program last time. Stand up. They were bold. They came up. They stood up. It's not easy to stand before people looking at you. They did, and they did what the matron workers had asked of them to do. We encourage you, young people. We encourage you, workers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Father, congregation, musicians, and all our voices rang out in jubilation as we sang together. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, keep me yeah. near the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Reb even had the piano to be silent, yeah. and you could hear voices across this altar yeah. singing, Jesus, keep me near. I encourage you, family. I don't know whether some of you know what that red book is in the back of the pew. Yeah. But that's a hymn book. Yeah. That's a hymn book. Pick it up and sing. Yeah. When he, we were singing this morning. Pick it up. Yeah. What a free we have in Jesus is in there. Yeah. OB Castle is in there. Yeah. Pick that book up and sing. Oh. It makes you feel better. Yeah. When you sing together, I encourage all to sing. Pastor Solomon, 
as usual, your message to come out. Wally, Acts chapter 16, commencing with verse 11. And the singing of said Jesus came into my heart to follow. I had a wonderful, wonderful worship experience. I'm not saying that I have never had one before. Yeah. It might just been me who came here ready. Yeah. I don't know, but I did. Yeah. And I did. it's been on me all the week yeah. until yeah. Red called me. <laughs> <laughs> and shook me up. <laughs> what a wonderful worship. We encourage you, pastor. We encourage you, usher. We encourage all participants in the service. Be a participator, Amen. not just a spectator. Amen. You don't have to be up here talking, but pick up the hymn book and sing. Yeah. We praise God for worship is about Him. Yeah. Worship is. For him yes. and worship is to him. Yes. To God be the glory. Yes. I know you probably think I'm finished. <laughs> but I'm just getting to what, what he asked me to do. I've been around Baptist preachers too long. <laughs> Christian nature. Christian matrix. We have many kinds of matrix, but Christian matrix set apart. You are royalty. You are royalty. It is my prayer that something said this morning will encourage you and motivate each of you to live as the royalty that we are. Verse 9 of 1 Peter 2 simply says, we, the believers, are different. We are different. At the ball game, they ought to know that you are royalty. In the grocery store, when they make you mad, they ought to know no. that, no. That, no. that you are royal. Yeah. Everywhere you go, uh -huh. it should be known by your what? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Not your talk, yeah. but what you do. Yeah. As I know, you know, some of us still remember those who do that, those words, and sometimes they come up. <laughs> but push them back. Yeah. Push them back. This passage starts with, but ye, and that ye is you. Peter is speaking in this verse to believers who were in time past not a people, but are now the people of God, and us, God's people. But ye, you are chosen people, high standards. Deep humility, yeah. loving hearts, yeah. and gracious spirit are clothing elements of Christianity yeah. that are found in the lives of those chosen by God yeah. to shine for him yeah. in this dark world. Yeah. In times like these, yeah. in which we live, when confusion reigns supreme yeah. and to what is right or what is wrong. Yeah. Anything goes. TV shows. Yeah. Parents monitor yeah. what the yeah. children watch. Yeah. Who to trust or not who to trust. Yeah. And sadly, whether there is any hope for our children. This is a generation of some, not all, yeah. young people lacking moral discipline, yeah. training, and teaching. Yeah. No respect for anybody. Yeah. Four little words are commonplace. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't mean L O V E. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever gone through a fast food yeah. <laughs> drive through? Yeah. And place and all. Yeah. No good morning. Yeah. Right. No 
thank you. No smile. No please come again. Excluding Chick fil A. They teach. They teach them. And they have learned to be respected. And get your orders, fill them. And these other folk haven't done anything. And when you get home, your heart is wrong. At times, through careless acts of defiance of authority, they seem destined to destroy themselves through ignorance, violence, guns, settling any dispute. Doesn't have to be anything. Drugs. However, before we conclude that all is lost for them, let's be reminded that these are our children. Yeah. Remember, it, yeah. take, it does take a bit. Yeah. I think they criticize Hillary for saying so, but it, it does take a bit. We know it right here at home. Yeah. If you did anything somewhere else, yeah. Mr. Nero, okay, it got to. Yeah. And they are our presence yeah. and our future. Yeah. They are our hope. Yeah. And we must not let this hope perish without doing our best right. to change things. Yeah. Find someone yeah. with whom you can make a difference. Yeah. You don't have to have birthed a child right. to make a difference right. in somebody's life. Yeah. We must not give in to rebellious antics. No, they are not going to like it if you tell them right. Yeah. But you keep going. Right. Nor give up on restoring, don't give up on restoring them to spiritual purposes. Right. Listen, sisters and brothers, children, we are chosen of God. Yeah. That means much. Yeah. We can do all things yeah. through Christ yeah. who strengthens us. Yeah. Mason, God made you women and chose you to be strong enough to deter bad behavior and tender enough to provide loving embraces, even when you're correcting them. When homes are under constant duress because of Satan's efforts to destroy family love, family unity, and family peace, we desperately need godly women and men who are not ashamed to be identified with Christ. We must be physical examples of love, kindness, gentleness, and patience. We must find ourselves yeah. modeling these attributes yeah. much more than we model the decorative fingers Not and toenails, <laughs> the Gucci, the J. Renee's, yeah. <laughs> the finest outfit. Yeah. Listen, I don't see anything wrong with you wearing these. You should look your best. Yeah. But there comes a time yeah. we need to put those in the closet, in the jewelry box, uh -huh. in the shoe box, and get our hands dirty yeah. trying to clean up the messes around us. Yeah. Uh -huh. Chosen men and women of God, yeah. Yeah. we are to be a light yeah. to those in spiritual bodies. Yeah. To be chosen is an extraordinary privilege, well, yeah. freely given by God. Yeah. There is no partiality with God. The sun said, what, red and yellow, black and white? Yeah. They are precious. Yeah. All are precious yeah. in his sight. Yeah. God is calling you, yeah. you, yeah. you, yeah. and you. He is calling us into that privilege yeah. to be chosen by him. Yeah. 
Second, but ye, you are a royal priesthood. It should make you bubble over with joy when you just think about belonging to the household of the king. We are in the house of God. We belong to a king family. Royalty is our new identity in Christ Jesus. That's something to shout about. You, we, are royal. However, our positions of royalty are viewed differently than how people of royalty are thought to be by worldly standards. Royalty in worldly kingdom is based on those in power having people to honor and revere them. Having people look up to them and be submissive to them. Example, the late Queen Elizabeth of Queen. This is not your important role, image of her as royal women of God. Yeah. For his glory and honor, yeah. not ours. Yeah. Being chosen by God is a serious yes. responsibility. Yeah. It's serious yeah. that not, needs not to be taken lightly. Yeah. Don't take it lightly. Yeah. Just as in times past, when situations of the world required the need of powerful women of faith, yeah. women of prayer, yeah. women of love, yeah. women of compassion, yeah. and a willing spirit yeah. to fight the good fight of faith yeah. to the glory of God. Yeah. It's not about us, y'all. It's about Him. Yeah. Yeah. Such memorable yeah. references oh, yeah. include but are not limited to Sarah, yeah. wife of Abraham, yeah. who became the mother of a nation, not yet born. No, no, no. Yet in her own age, yeah. God birthed a nation yeah. through her yeah. that would become more numerous than the stars in the sky yeah. and the sands on the seashore. Yeah. Then there was Ruth. Yeah. A woman who had no spiritual background, yeah. or knowledge of God. Yeah. Yet, her committed love attachment to her mother-in-law Naomi yeah. and the adoption of Naomi's faith in God yeah. made her available yeah. to be used yeah. by God. Yeah. Yeah. Ruth's devotion yeah. rewarded her yeah. to become the great-grandmother yeah. of David, yeah. the greatest. The greatest yeah. king yeah. in the history of Israel. Yeah. God, God, yeah. like Ruth, following your heart, by out of the heart comes the issue. With integrity can increase your influence with others. Did you hear that? Yeah. Following your heart with integrity yeah. can increase your influence yeah. with others. Yeah. These children watch with y'all. Yeah. Also, he used Esther yeah. as queen of a nation. Yeah. Not for her edification and glory, yeah. but rather position her in power yeah. to save her people. Yeah. who were being falsely accused and set for annihilation yeah. by evil men. Yeah. Yeah. Mary yeah. was chosen yeah. by God yeah. to give birth yeah. to his only begotten yeah. son yeah. and to deliver, to deliver him into the world yeah. where he would become yeah. Savior, yeah. Lord, yeah. and King. Yeah. He chose Mary a faithful young woman yeah. who agreed to serve yeah. God even in the face of the possibility 
of being un accused of. Yeah. Accused of yeah. being unfaithful to us. Yeah. Yeah. Chosen, you are different. Yeah. There is one more biblical woman of God I want to mention. Yeah. We do not know her name. But the deed she did yes. spoke volumes yes. of her heart, yes. her character, yes. her faith. Yes. While Jesus sat eating yes. in the house of Simon the woman, yes. this courageous woman yes. carried an alabaster box yes. of fresh yes. ointment yes. and anointed Jesus yes. pouring oil on his head. Yes. The disciples didn't like it. Jesus said that her act would become a memorial to her for all time. We are talking about it today. These women, along with others, were chosen by God. Third, since we just completed our Black History celebration, I must mention the late Rosa Parks, who reportedly said in an interview that she prayed to God. Yeah. Yeah. She prayed to God yeah. for strength not to move. Yeah. He answered my prayer, yeah. and he will do it for us. Yeah. Won't he do it? Yeah. 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 There is no possibility in God. Well, well. She was A.M.E. Yeah. Not that. <laughs> Thirdly, but he you are a holy nation. Yes. You are a holy nation. Don't be afraid of that word holy. Don't be holy. Holiness is another aspect of our identity. Tommy Woods has written a book and he defines holiness as being set apart from the world and from sin and constantly constantly uh -huh. striving to please God yeah. in our worship, yeah. in our obedience, yeah. and in our lifestyle. Yeah. Yes. Holiness is demanded of all believers. We are a holy nation, a peculiar people. We can't talk right on Sunday and walk left on Monday, we cannot talk like that on Sunday and walk left on Monday. Foul language. Anything that comes up comes out. We can't do it. You're different. And I hope, it's my prayer that you're hearing me. You are different. We are different. And everybody with whom we come in contact should know it. We are challenged to separate from the world value system and adhere to what God desires of us. This by no means says we cannot enjoy God's beautiful creation. Well, right. All right. Being holy does not mean toting a Bible. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Under your arm, everywhere you go. Yeah. It does not mean leaving a Bible quoting Bart there yeah. on your phone. Yeah. All right, Paul, you don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah. I read the Bible. It does not mean wearing a sad face right. or a long white dress. Right. It does not mean that. It does mean we are set apart, sanctified, set apart. It does mean we do not engage in the sinful activities the world promotes. Not being restrained from doing 
whatever you desire. You can't do whatever you desire. You know how the flesh is. No limits to selfish pleasure. This play of wickedness to get what you want. We represent a holy God who wants us to be holy. The world is in a horrible mess. But, and not just, uh, what's his name? Number 45. But I firmly believe that the people of God can make a big difference if we operate in his will. Second Chronicles 7.14 tells us his chosen people, his set apart people, his royal priesthood. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways, then and only then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. I believe God. I believe our work is mighty, mm -hmm. expansive, expansive, mm -hmm. long, and rich. The no-name woman with the alabaster box cared neither about home nor criticism. She just loved the Lord. She loved the Lord. Finally noticed by commendations in her story. Her story is told over and over and over again. Yes. Who you are, yes. who you are, yes. and what God has given you for yourself, yes. not what others think, yes. rather yes. what you know. Yes. Work the work. Yes. He went about preaching, teaching, and healing. Yes. He was crucified and buried. Yes. Oh, grave, where is thy victory? Yes. Oh, death, where is thy sin? Yes. Death and the grave disarmed. Yes. And early on Sunday morning, he was raised up. Because God has graciously called us out of the darkness of sin and death and a life without Christ into the glorious light of his holy presence and eternal life and love. Oh, how we praise his holy name. He is alive and present, asking us, who shall I see? And who yes. will go for us? Yes. Will your answer be yes? yes. yes. Here am I. Yes. Send me. Yes. He is calling us to full surrender. Yes. This call is not a service call like a repairman, yes. but it is a call to reasonable service. Yes. You are chosen. Yes. You are set apart. Yes. You are different. Your answer should be all to Jesus. I surrender. All to him. I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence. There we live. All to Jesus. I surrender. Make me save your holy thing. Let me feel the Holy Spirit. Truly know that thou art mine. Yes. All to thee, yes. my blessed Savior, yes. I surrender yes. all. Yes. And from Jesus Christ, yes. who is the faithful witness, yes. and the first begotten of the dead, yes. and the prince of the kings of the earth, mm -hmm. 
unto him that loved us yes. and washed us yes. from our sins yes. in his own blood yes. and hath made us kings and priests unto God yes. and his Father. Yes. Yes. To him be glory yes. and dominion yes. forever yes. and ever. Yes. Amen. Yes. Matrons and all of us let us see Jesus in you. Mission possible.
a roof on this. If you really surrender all, I'm going to give it to Jesus. I to respond. Amen. Will you do that for us right now? Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen.
Listen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. My Lord. sharing your mother. Amen. Amen. Thank you for sharing your mother. It, it's good to know that you have a matriarch in your family that knows the Lord. Amen. Amen. We got this far because, not because we knew the Lord, and some of us just not found it. I mean, I'm talking about just not in family. But thanks be to God for mamas and daddies and big mamas, amen, who knew the Lord, amen, that carried us, amen. Come on, y'all, let's get this off of her right quick, and then we're going home again. Thank you, Maxine, what a blessing, what a blessing. You know, today is everything that I prayed that the Lord would do in this place. Pray that his spirit presence will be with us, amen, God bless you. his tithes and offerings, Father God. Lord, we'll overflow morning start with blessings, Father God. Increase morning starts finances, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. You know what that is, God. <laughs> Amen. God, Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Who is that sitting behind me, Daryl? I, I know it, man. Yes, 
Good afternoon, Morningstar. Um, Ms. Abrams, thank you for letting Pastor Fowler shake you. You did a fantastic job. You gave a wonderful word. You are a phenomenal woman, and I thank you for accepting the invitation to speak at our 2023 annual Matron Day. You did a magnificent job. I want to thank everyone for coming. Um, any business you'd like to stand, Miss Handy French, we've got you. We thank you so much for being with us always. If anyone else on the stand be recognized, you can stand and say a word. I'm probably trying to find out who everybody is and we all is. So. <laughs> thank you for coming. Is there anyone else? Thank you all for sharing this special day with us. And thank you, Sister Spencer, for responding to the last minute uh, call. And she was the person to do it anyway. Amen. She, she, she was the person to do it. I, I wanted her to introduce Maxine because she probably knew Maxine better than anybody here. I, I was hoping that she was going to tell something else. <laughs> but, but, that's, that's all right. But, but good friends don't do that. <laughs> but thank you, for, thank you all for your obedience and participation. It really means a lot to the kingdom of God. All right. Any instructions? Everything done? Refreshment on your way out the door. Amen. May his peace. Sunday school, 10 o'clock. Everybody. Amen. That was she, she said. you and the Lord keep you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and be gracious unto you and grant you peace that every heart say Amen. Children meet with uh, Preacher Brandon. Children see Preacher Brandon. Amen.